And we're back. Today we're gonna see me desperately try to get my sweep going up by one more floor because there's absolutely nothing to do in this game except do retarded things like progress endlessly in extremely difficult events. So after I got Goribas, I could climb this ladder super fast because Goribas deals a lot of damage. But when you run into stupid stages like this one, let me show you. You have no choice but to come up with desperate strategies. As you can see, I'm not even using a core because this stage is just that difficult. You have to prime your energy in the previous stages to make sure that you are energy efficient when you do have your cores alive. Okay, so first thing, you can see why do I hate this stage so much? Because first of all, there's a one fucking unit in front, which means I can only corrode one. And that's terrible. If I can only corrode one unit, I cannot deal my damage. That's why I don't even have vaccine man, because I need my single target. And to do single target, I've added Boros and Beast King to my team. So this is 3 stars difficulty. In order to sweep to a level, you need to be clearing 3 stars all in a row, and you'll be dropped 1 floor below your max clear. Okay. So over here, if I don't clear this stage 3 stars today, I won't be able to progress my sweep because the past 2 levels, I've already progressed it significantly. You can see this stage is retarded. I just used Boros and Beast King and he's still not dead. Yeah, that's how stupid this stage is. It's too hard. And the whole floor is clones until this level. This level is just... Randomly throws you tentacle monsters. Yeah, probably have to restart this run. You'll be watching me restart this run for a very long time until the front unit is dead. So this is how you desperately try to push every day. Another way is you do sacrifice. So if I don't want to try this right now, I can go for a sacrifice run. Sacrifice runs are when you do reflect damage builds or just keep throwing units at them. So normally you take Deep Sea King. You take uh, things like Armai, Men's Aesthetician Man, you run Clone, you run Alloy, but Alloy is in my lineup right now because uh, I need him to tank. So I'm going to run Moomen instead. And then if you want to have a unit that can stun, it will be good, but the, there's only one target in the front, so we have no choice. We can't run a, a stun unit. What I'll do instead is there is a unit that actually deals okay damage uh, to monsters. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Uh, where is he? Should be here. Okay, you know what? I need to get an Esper no matter what. I just saw that uh, my requirement now is Esper. So I'm just going to fill in the last slot with Esper. This is what you call a sacrifice run. Normally you want suits on everything, but I'm too lazy today. I only have to clear this stage to progress my sweep. So what you do, you start first hopefully like this. And then you, if let's say you have a strong Amai or something, you can go first. But what I need to do now, my aesthetician man is not moving fast enough. Yes! I move him to the front and I shatter. So this end unit is a god tier unit. This one as well. This guy is unyielding. This guy has shatter. So don't underestimate some of the units just cause they look like they're trash. They're actually pretty good. You can see I can barely hurt him, but the purpose of this run is not really to do damage. It's to get my energy and to have them hit me when my DSK buff is on. So that will reflect damage back to them, no matter how slight. And you can see his HP is dropping when he hits me. Moomen Rider is good for this cause Unyielding, even if you unyield it, the maximum amount of damage is reflected. You can get 6 suit sets and do this all the way, but it gets very tiring after a while. In strong units like DSK that can implement reflect damage on all your units, as well as deal damage based on HP lost. You can see here it deals an okay amount even though these are all level 1 units. And what you want to do with the Armai is actually just uh, injure, even though he can ulti, there's no point because my Armai is not geared. If your armor is geared, go ahead and smack them harder, I guess. This is probably gonna kill me. 
but you can see that they are taking some decent damage they are basically taking their own damage now that they are dead I'm going to try and run my main line up again and see if I can get the front line to fall uh, earlier this time I wouldn't say it's 100% uh, or uh, I'm going to try getting Gorivas vaccine man up okay you know what I'm going to run let's see Let's give this a try first. And if it doesn't work, we will swap around some options. What we need to do is my front line must be able to kill this guy. And as long as he corrodes, he'll do good damage. I out. <coughs> Preferably a Sonic move faster would be great, but uh, in this case... Actually, I can make my burrow slower. Yeah, let me try something. As you can see, I can, I'm leaving the fights and it's, it doesn't record. So, as long as you don't press skip, it's fine. Here. Uh, I'm gonna go remove speed gear from my Boros. I moved speed gear on him just now to do some last hitting, but actually it's fine now. Primal. Equip this. I don't really have a lot of good option for pens, but what I usually do is I just run something like this piece. Oh, I have this actually. What am I talking about? It's the this piece that I need to replace. I don't really have a. I could run this piece, I guess. It's pretty strong. Attack, attack, attack. I wanted some health uh, to compensate for the fact that everyone is running a uh, damage reflect in PvP. I'm gonna give it another shot. Same lineup. Now, ideally, I should let my Sonic die. Actually, hold on. Yeah, you're gonna see me do this a lot as I try and think through what is actually the correct way to run. Ah oh, shit! Accidentally clicked the stupid icon. It's very late. I'm tired, but I have to clear my institute. So first, corrode, you must crit, if not restart, shatter. Okay, now he's injured and shattered, so this should kill him. Excellent! Now we can initiate with a vaccine man out. The next turn we can use Gorivas vaccine man to do some good damage. And all three are probably gonna die here. There's really very little that can survive these fuckers. Oh! Look at this! Look at this. And what you're gonna do now is just kind of kill them before they reach the outs. Their outs are, are instant kill. There's nothing that can survive their outs. No, not, not nothing, basically. So, every time you have Beast King, he has 50% chance to injure the rest, but you want to cast a guaranteed injure on the core target. In this case, it's the bottom unit. You see the other two didn't get injured and hopefully with any luck I can kill the top two in this run which will let me come on yes so this means that this guy only attack either carnage or the center guy oh carnage still has to get stunned so we won excellent we still have our core team left to either clear one more stage or try and clear yet another difficulty which I feel like I'm too lazy today to do it let's see how difficult it is first oh wait we can't we have to choose and commit now this is a mutate DNA so I have no real if I clear if I saw this was a box I would clear one star to get a box but it's not so I'm just gonna try for hard and if I fail then so be it right so I still have a couple of very strong units left that means there's a good chance that I can still win, assuming that the front is a uh, three row units. So if I'm gonna test it out first, if it does well, then I'll go ahead. If it doesn't go well, I'll change to another lineup and run some sacrifice teams for a while. This is perfect. Okay, so what you oh, okay never mind. Let's take Carnage out. <laughs> uh, you can't have him die because Garibas hasn't uh, used the skill yet. If he dies. That means that Goribas loses one Korot 
every little bit of damage matters. So instead of running that, I'm going to run Genus Core. Hopefully the clones will allow us to survive long enough to murder all of the clones in the front line. And that means today I'm actually progressing by two sweeps. So hopefully this mini guide helps you understand the progression mechanisms for Institute. What you want to do is, every day you want to clear in the format difficulty 1, difficulty 1, and then 3. So 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3 every single day. And that will help you to progress the sweep as far as you can. That didn't really shatter much, so if this is a bad shatter, that will get 3 on the front. Ah, I got all of them, so that's okay. I have out of energy as you can tell. So earlier on I used a lot of energy without a core. But it's okay. Uh most of the damage is gonna come from Vaccine Man and uh my dear boy over here. Gory boy. I call him Gogi Boy. Okay, so no choice but to attack one of the units randomly. I'm gonna try and hit the middle one. Not much damage, but uh, we'll have to make do with it. I'm not trying to focus fire them because I want their HP to spread. If the uh, HP, one of them dies too fast, it means that it won't reflect as much as it could be reflecting. I'm just going to let them die, it's fine. Oh no, that was not ideal. Oh well, we'll make do. Uh, the corrode should last for quite a bit longer. Three injury, that's great. So now we just need to burn them and hopefully they'll all be dead. Unyielding procs are coming out. So now they're going to start uh, getting burnt. Brock. Dead. Brock. Excellent. We even get one more turn. So this is this is great. This is great. Uh, they are all single target. So finish them off with this. He's not even dead. No choice. But this guy won't be able to do anything against the clone. So he's probably dead. We do need to injure him once though. I hope he doesn't pierce. Uh, let's see what happens. Is he gonna pierce? Please don't pierce, please don't pierce, please don't pierce. Ah, this is the best outcome. So you have 3 energy. My vaccine man hits more because he has keep 6, so I'm gonna keep his damage. Even if this doesn't kill him, I can go use suit to kill him with a uh, sub team. And there you go. That's how you progress to 3 difficulties on the same day. Mind you, I'm ahead of. I'm ahead so far. I'm at 6113 star difficulty. I only have one more stage to go. One more. And look, I even got. I mean, it's useless at this point. This will be more helpful, but. Um, I, I'll just take it, okay? I'll just take it. I lost my Goriba, so progressing on the last one is impossible. I've never reached this guy before. Okay? Let's, let's just uh, find out how difficult he is. I'm not going to do 3 stars because it's basically impossible at this point. But we can actually find out what the formation is like for the next day, at least. No call. No one who can really call either. I do have a berserk. Can't really do much, but we're just gonna see what it looks like, okay? I pretty much expected. Don't know why there was a random tentacles earlier on, but uh, three units in front, three units behind, and these two are basically healers, as far as uh, institute is concerned. I'm just gonna commit suicide here because there's nothing I can do. Pretty much. I'm dealing good damage though. If I had a uh, Gory Bass left, I'll actually try to clear this, but I don't have a Gory Bass left. Oh, that was a mistake, should I punch the middle one? And you can tell that uh, this would be difficult because the backline, when they cast their skills, they're gonna heal. So this would be a very difficult stage on 3 star difficulty. Probably unclearable without uh, a proper lineup. And I'm dead. But that was a very good run for today. I cleared two sweeps. My bonuses for day today are not that great. I have block rate, damage free plus 40. Damage rate, I mean I got the 20% at the last part, so it doesn't count as actually 40%. Crit 30% is enough to proc most things like Child Emperor's uh, Shatter. 
And that's all. That's uh, not, not much you can do. So it's actually after midnight now. My club rewards are probably up. I'm going to go here and pick up the club reward. Yeah, you won't be seeing orange because I didn't refresh today. But let's see what we get. Ah, HP, pens, it's always like that. Alright, two suit pieces are okay, although I'll, I'll prefer. I'm missing one of the suit pieces, I don't know which. So, there you have it. How to increase your institute by two difficult flaws. Here you go. Very, very far ahead of everyone else.